rom-coms are popular. However, when it comes to learning from them about love and relationships, it's a bit like learning about how to have sex from porn. Just like porn, they follow a very familiar structure almost every time. Boy meets girl, let's face it, they nearly get together in the first half hour, something happens so they don't get together, they don't talk about it, one person gets in a huff because the other isn't talking to them, something else happens, it's getting towards the end of the film, there's some running, one person says they love the other person, they say they love them back, they kiss, and they all live happily ever after. Rom-coms can be fun to watch, but if we compare our own experience of love to how they show it in the movies, it can be a bit depressing. They can also give us bad advice about how to make relationships actually happen. Just saying, I love you, and someone saying, I love you back, isn't love in itself. Love is a process, and it's often quite small and everyday, as it involves chatting about stuff, making each other tea, sending hugs, and generally being kind and communicative. It also involves ups and downs, both for individuals and for the relationship as a whole. Okay, that might be a terrible film, but it is more realistic. Looking to rom-coms is very comforting because they make things look really easy. However, when we watch them, we can be hard on ourselves and the people around us for not matching up to this.